In this video, we're finding vertical and horizontal intercepts for a logarithmic function. And the twist here is that uh, rather than get a calculator out to figure out what a decimal approximation to these intercepts are, we're going to leave the, um, the answers in their exact form. So we know that to find vertical intercepts, the vertical intercept happens when the input is zero. And so that means I need to figure out what the output is going to be when the input is zero. So f of zero is the log of two times zero plus four plus six. And so that's just the natural log of four plus six. So the answer to this question is the point where the input is zero and the output is natural log of four plus six. So no further um, calculations are needed. To find the horizontal intercept, that's when I'm figuring out when my output is zero. And so that means I have to find the input. Uh, that's not the word I meant to write. I don't know why I said find and wrote solve, but I'm gonna find X. So I'm gonna find the input so that the output is zero. And the formula for the output is log two X plus four plus six. So find the input that makes the output zero. To solve that equation, uh, I'm gonna subtract six from both sides, and this is gonna get it into my standard logarithmic form. So that'll make this look like log of something equal to a number, like that, because these are gonna go away. Uh, once I have it written in this basic logarithmic form, then I can just translate this over to an equivalent equation in exponential form with the same base. So don't forget that the natural log is log base e. And so this is going to become an exponential function in base e, where the inputs and the outputs of the log equation have been switched. So the output of the log equation is here. The input of the log equation will sort of look like this. Now this equation is now going to be pretty easy to solve. I need to subtract four from both sides. So then we'll have um, e to the minus six minus four is two x. And if I can just continue here going right to left, I would now just divide both sides by two. So I would say that's one half e to the minus six minus four is equal to x. So that's gonna be my exact answer for x. So that is the input for which the output is zero, meaning that my horizontal intercept is going to have first coordinate, one half e to the minus six minus four, and second coordinate, zero.